Hi, I'm Sanne Luijbe and I work with uh, Groengoed. I specialize in uh, working with uh, people with mental health uh, problems in green environments or spaces like this. Uh, this is Tuinenproef Kogen. Hey there, my name is Raymond Landegent. I'm from Groenemorgen and Oase. Uh, I'm a social and sustainable event organizer and a campaigner. I'm Marlene Arkstein and I'm uh, the city, uh, city farmer. Uh, I have a CSA in the north of uh, Rotterdam feeding 150 people. My name is Barla Moeijes, I'm a freelance campaigner and content creator and I'm an activist. We've set up the National Park Rotterdam campaign. We started uh, about one year ago. And when we started thinking about this campaign, we got in touch with the Natural History Museum, who were, as a super coincidence, uh, also setting up an exhibition in a museum with the team National Park Rotterdam. Uh, so the past year we uh, collaborated with them, uh, they are doing the exhibition, it's still uh, on show and we are doing the campaign in the city. Uh, we organized uh, multiple events, uh, three uh, kickoff events, two team events about biodiversity and rewilding and a night about trees. Uh, we organized a tree fest, we organized a bio blitz in collaboration with the museum, we organized a documentary night. Um, and there's uh, much more to come, so uh, we did quite a lot uh, the past half year. Um, the biggest challenge uh, was, I think, um, to find a balance between um, the, the shared dream that we try to create with National Park Rotterdam. It's very wide and it's very open, but also to create like specific uh, call to actions or questions for people so that they feel involved and, and, and can um, start doing something. And I think, um, yeah, we, we are trying to find a balance in that. And I think also for the future, a big challenge is how to reach the people that are maybe not so involved in green or not interested in green stuff uh, here in the city. Because that's what we really want to do with the Ranger uh, program. And what went well, I think, is that like in this year, we've created such a um, lot of enthusiasm from all different types of uh, organizations and people. Uh, for instance, the city council, who is very enthusiastic about the initiative, and Gronotien, um, which is already a very uh, strong base of green uh, entrepreneurs, which is very nice. And also lots of uh, individuals who want to become part of the movement uh, uh, by becoming a ranger. So yeah, I think that's very, uh, very cool. Well, actually, what I think was uh, what made our campaign so successful, I think, is um, because we started from the questions of what if. And what if is a very imaginative and a dreamy kind of question. So everybody has a dream and everybody can become enthusiastic with that kind of question. So it's a very open question. And I think that uh, that evoked a lot of enthusiasm. And then, of course, we also had the support of uh, the National City Park Movement. And um, another thing is actually also that we build our foundation on a very large group of initiatives. And I think that really, yeah, that really helped us to, uh, to become successful. Well, on top of that, I think it was very important that we had a very strong visual message. We have, uh, in our working group, we have Sanna. She is a graphic designer or an artist, actually. And she made very strong images that really provoked, you know, the imagination and the creativity of what National Park Rotterdam could be. At this point, we're raising funds to continue our work as a campaign team. Uh, because we want this campaign to last until uh, 2030 and um, we are mostly raising funds now to set up the ranger program. We hope to have rangers in all part of the city uh, that involve people in greening the city and involve people with living closure to nature and we want them to be a good representation of everyone in the city. Last week we became a nominee, uh, official nominee to become a national park city. So the coming years we continue continue the work to, to get that title. Uh, so we have to involve a lot of stakeholders, we have to set up more collaborations, uh, we have to organize a lot of events involving people and then in the, in the coming years we hope to get that title to officially become a national park city. And we want to celebrate that with a big festival, a big celebration, involve the government as well. 
uh, but also this year we want to start organizing ranger festivals. So we've set up the campaign, but in the coming years we will be further building the movement and involving as many people as possible, involving as many organizations as possible and getting everyone excited for a greener, wilder and healthier water dam.